Um, Ruth, thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Um, now as progresses, there are more and more calls uh, to spell out the Brexit plan our alternative positive vision of a better life outside the EU. I think it is a reasonable request. Um, there are actually up to 53 possible options of association with the EU, and I'm not going to go through all of them just now. <laughs> You'll be glad to know. Um, but it does suggest, if you have 53 now, um, that a tailored British option is very deliverable, very likely, uh, especially as we are the EU's largest single trading partner. Um, we saw just yesterday, as Ruth touched on, our exports to the EU are collapsing, whilst the exports to the rest of the world are actually far greater. Uh, Jaguar Land Rover told me the other day that um, they, their largest export market is China. It isn't Germany or, or even America, but it is China. Um, now, I've been serving for six years with the International Trade Committee of the European Parliament, working on free trade agreements, FTAs. After about six years, I think I'm beginning to understand them, finally. Um, I'm overseeing the EU-India free trade agreement, and I'm what's called a standing rapporteur, though after eight years of negotiation, I'd rather sit down, to be honest, rather than standing. But um, I see these FTAs up close. They are complex and technical, uh, and they're not people-friendly. Dan knows a lot about Dan Hannan knows a lot about trade agreements as well, good man. Um, but I, I wanted to explain today what I think is a simple, proven, realistic alternative and I'm putting forward. It's not a detailed model. I mean, it's not detailed in the sense of a Swiss or Norwegian or EEA option deal. But it is a clear position, particularly for this great debate. And my answer on what the alternative plan should be is called WTO plus. WTO plus. Now, all other benefits we've touched on today from our great speakers flow from it. Democratic control, border control, economic control. Um, so what on earth is this thing called WTO plus? Well, I think it's the kind of trade deal we'll have if we leave the EU. It's what the Japanese ambassador to the EU, Mr. Katakami, told me he wanted for Japan. He said he wanted a WTO plus deal for Japan. It's more or less what the EU is about to sign with the Canadian free trade agreement, CETA, Comprehensive Economic and Trade Agreement, which will scrap 99% uh, of non-agricultural tariffs and open up service opportunities. Now, this is all done, by the way, it's just about to be signed, um, without Canada joining the EU. Uh, Canada is, of course, in NAFTA, the North American Free Trade Area with the USA and Mexico. Uh, and you have all the trade benefits in NAFTA without any freedom of movement, when you think about it. So why does the EU need it? I'm going to Ottawa uh, next month to finalise, help finalise this uh, trade deal, so it should be signed this year. And we can have something very, very similar. And then there's the ever popular, or unpopular, TTIP, Transatlantic Trade Investment Partnership between the EU and the USA, uh, which if it doesn't fail through a combination of the left, uh, the Greens, and uh, German capitalist protectionism, uh, which is really, it could actually fail, those are all the indications, but if it doesn't fail, TTIP would be a WTO plus deal in itself, and it's what Australia and New Zealand are now, in, in really in the last few months, have started negotiating with the EU. So India too would be WTO plus, this is a kind of description, a handy descriptor of the kind of deal all these countries seek. And there are two components of WTO plus, so one is World Trade Organization rules. We are a member of the WTO, as is the EU. And I call the WTO rules the solid cake, if you like, you know, solid and deliverable. The plus refers to a preferential trade deal on top, the icing on that cake. So WTO plus combines a guaranteed deal through WTO, which all countries have at the moment, the ones I mentioned, with a preferential trade deal on top. Now, the WTO basic deal, the bare cake, is guaranteed whatever happens as the UK and EU are both members of the WTO in their own rights. And it must follow those rules, the EU must follow its rules as we do, or be hauled into the WTO's own court. 
It's a deal secured by signatories of the Marrakesh Agreement that founded the WTO. And basically that, this basic WTO deal, the cake, is the Brexit safety net. Now, it's true that as part of that deal, the worst case option, you might call it, you would get some tariffs on, on some goods, but there are already indications that German car manufacturers in particular will not want tariffs imposed on UK cars. I mean, why? Well, think about it for a moment. BMW own Minis and they own Rolls-Royce. They own a lot of components makers, so they don't want uh, tariffs that way. So I think, in practice, there'd be an ugly rush for a trade deal. Um, but even if the UK paid out compensation for farmers and companies, and that's all legal under WTO rules, Business for Britain has done a major exercise on this, um, the UK would still be better off financially by at least five billion a year. Uh, just a word on services, if, if I may. We've been talking about goods, but services. It's true the UK has a small surplus for the EU, and in theory, their main campaign say they, that makes us vulnerable. But services don't have tariffs levied on them when you think about it. Uh, and yes, there are obstacles to services, uh, insurance companies from Britain trying to sell in Germany or whatever it is. But these exist now within the single market. They wouldn't be recreated or created anew because we left. And in fact, after 24 years of the famed single market, we still don't have a real single market in services in the EU. Uh, and of course, the EU wants access to the City of London in particular, to the largest capital markets in the world, to finance its industry and business. Now, the PLUS and WTO PLUS also fits neatly into what the EU calls withdrawal agreement territory. The EU Commission is required uh, the legal talk is that it shall, that's a strong legal word I'm told, to negotiate with any departing member under Article 50 um, a withdrawal agreement. And the plus could take many forms, as I say, you know, you can get into the Swiss or Norwegian or EA deals or others um, that can follow. But the exact agreement after Brexit will be agreed well, it will be subject to agreement, you know, that's basically, uh, it's based on mutual interest, uh, both sides want to agree. And, but if, say, French politicians did try to block such a deal, as, as Remain always say, their farmers, uh, with their shiny new tractors, would be demonstrating in Paris before you know it. <laughs> I mean, who wants 48.5% British tariffs on French cheese? I don't, I rather like French cheese, but... 8.8% on French wines or 8.5% or on Renault cars. I mean, we don't want to be in that territory of levying uh, tariffs on French goods. Um, so, but if insanity did triumph, you know, the worst, worst case scenario, if they did cut off their nose to spite their face, then the WTO deal is a guaranteed fallback. It cannot be denied by the EU. The EU cannot deny it unless it breaks WTO rules, which it will not do. And it cannot be denied, as George Osborne and Mark Carney denied the SNP uh, the pound in the Scottish referendum. So you cannot have that sort of denial. And it also doesn't need any further negotiation. The rules are the same for all WTO members. Um, so basically, the summary of this is, if you get WTO+, plus, we're a lot better off. If it's just the basic WTO deal, we're still better off. The cake is better with the icing, but we'll still eat. Heads we win, tails we win. Um, and in that scenario, we are free to deliver all the benefits of democratic control, economic control, and border control, which have been touched on uh, in this morning's uh, or earlier session. But none of these benefits can be realized without a trade deal with you that secures jobs, investment, and prosperity. I believe that's where WTO Plus comes in. I hope you'll agree it's a good plan. It's not too technical, I hope. Um, and it's in just two words. So it's got, the, uh, it's got brevity to it as well. Thank you very much.